Hi, this is Riyan from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, I'm going to configure anti-spoofing and security zone for all the interfaces in Checkpoint Security Gateway. Anti-spoofing detects if a packet with an IP address that is behind a certain interface arrives from a different interface. For example, if a packet from an external network has an internal IP address, anti-spoofing feature will block that packet. To understand this, let's take a look at this image. Now suppose uh, this is our security gateway. And for the security gateway, anti-spoofing makes sure that all the incoming packets to the interface 2 come from the internet. Okay, on this interface. All the incoming packets to the 3 come from the network 192.168.21.0/24, And all the incoming packets to 4 come from the network 10.2.21.0/24. For example, if an incoming packet to interface 4 has a source IP address from the network 192.168.21.0, then packet is blocked. Because with the help of anti-spoofing feature, the security gateway will know that the source address is spoof. Make sure to configure anti-spoofing protection on all the interfaces of the security gateway including internal interfaces. So let's jump to our Windows 10 virtual machine where I have installed the smart console dashboard. Okay, and here you can see we have a security gateway with the name MBN R81-GW01 and uh, this is our management server MBN R81-MGMT. Uh, let me show you the lab topology which I'm using in this lab guide series. Okay, this is the lab topology and we have total four interfaces on our checkpoint gateway. So let's again go back to the Windows 10 virtual machine and let's double click on our security gateway MBN R81-GW01. Let's click on network management and here we can get that information about the interfaces which we have on our security gateway. Let's click on get interfaces. And from here, I'm going to select get interfaces with topology. It will gives you one pop-up box. Click on yes to override topology and anti-spoofing settings. I'm going to click on yes. And click on accept. You can see we have four interfaces and here something is a change. You can see that icons are now changed. Uh, we have interface ETH0, uh, which is connected with the management segment. We have interface ETH1, which is connected to server farm with clients. ETH2 is connected with DMZ and ETH3 is connected with internet. Uh, let me show you the topology again. So this is our interface ETH0, which is connected with management network. ETH1 with server farm, ETH2 for DMZ and ETH3 for internet. Now first I'm going to select our interface ETH0 and click on add it. The interface property window opens on a general tab. You can see the topology status. It is uh, leads to this uh, network, means internal and security zone is not defined and anti-spoofing is set to prevent and lock. So this is based on the topology which your security gateway has detected. In my case, it is showing as an internal network. It is automatically calculated from the topology of the security gateway. Uh, you can see the security zone is set to none. Uh, I'm going to manually set security zone for each interface uh, one by one. So for that, I'm going to click on modify. And here it is selected leads to this network. And if you want to override this settings, you can select this uh, button as well. Fine. Under security zone, uh, user defined zone. So I'm going to select this one. Or here you can see the second option that according to this topology, it is internal zone. But I want to manually define the security zone and let's click on this drop down button. And it is going to be our internal zone. Okay. For anti-spoofing, uh, this box is already selected. Perform anti-spoofing based on the interface topology. Uh, action is going to be prevent and we also want to generate logs as well. So let's click on OK. And OK again. Let's do the same for our second interface. Select ETH1, click on Edit. Click on Modify. This is again our internal network. 
let's select a specific security zone manually and here i'm going to select uh, again internal zone for anti-spoofing we don't have to change anything already anti-spoofing feature is enabled to prevent the packet and generate the logs click ok click ok again let's click on the interface number 3 eth2 click on edit and click on modify Again, this is an internal network. Select a specified security zone. But this interface, uh, ETH2, uh, let me show you the topology. It is connecting our network to the DMZ. And that's why I'm going to select the zone, DMZ zone. Okay, so this is our DMZ zone. Click OK and click OK again. Now select our third interface, ETH3. Click on Add it. Click on modify and you can see it is leads to internet. This is our external interface. And let me select a specified security zone and this is going to be external zone. Click OK and click OK. Now I'm going to click on this OK button. OK, uh, I have made a total six changes. So I'm going to publish the changes to the management server first. And for that, I'm going to click on Publish to save these changes. Let's click on Publish. Okay, and now I'm going to click on Install Policy to push the changes to the security gateway. We have only one security gateway and that is selected already. Click on Install. Let's click on Details. Okay, task is in progress. Perfect. So the changes which we have made is successfully pushed to our security gateway. According to my lab topology, I have configured the topology with the security zone and anti-spoofing settings. Thank you for watching. See you all in the next lab guide.